Floss Tubers. I'm Dottie Stitchin' Scotty, and welcome to my 11th day of Christmas giving. Thank you so much for stopping by. And those of you that have been with me since day one, wow, I can't believe it. Um, just thank you, thank you for coming by. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button. And um, especially if you want to be eligible for the giveaway today. All right, now we're going to start out with our Just Nan uh, Christmas Whimsy Ornament. This is the 11th day of Christmas. And this is 11 Pipers Piping. And who would have thought the Piper would be a snowman or a snow girl? Look at that little gingerbread man on the frame. These frames, I mean, they just sold it for me. And of course, they are no longer available at all. I could not find any more anywhere. And this is on 32 count vintage country mocha, two strands over two with DMC, two strands of that, and one strand of the pearl cotton number eight DMC, and one strand of chronic. I just love the little red bird and, hmm. I believe that's a blackbird too. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's just cute. But um, at first when I did this one, I thought she was playing the violin. And I thought, no, she's piping on her little pipe. So anyway, that is just too, too cute. I enjoyed stitching those. Um, took me a few years to get it started, but finally. And eBay and Stash and Load are probably the places you'll find them. But check with your local needlework shop because... Um, I know my local needlework shop, Pandas Crossing, had one the last time I was there. So you never can tell. All right. Um, now we're going to start with our, um, yes, we are, our free, not free pattern. We're going to start with our Christmas patterns. Um, I always try to be, um, yeah. Um, why am I not? I'm just like clueless right now. Um, I tell you, after a while, you know, you just kind of forget what you're doing. Um, we're going to start today with our uh, Christmas patterns. And these are like designers that um, some people have never heard of. They're um, designers that we've heard of. And we've like, where did that pattern come from? We haven't seen that. So anyway, um, we're going to do that in a minute because I just remembered something that my tablet has the free pattern pulled up. Now, I usually don't do this, but number one, I don't have this pattern stitched. And number two, there is no picture of it anywhere. And this is like the cutest pattern. And one of my viewers uh, sent me this link to this pattern. And the link is long, but it's so worth it. Um. This is called Santa Gnome, and whether you're on Facebook or not, you can still get this pattern because this is from a Facebook group. All you have to do is enter the link, and that's exactly what I did to get to this to make sure it worked. And the little uh, gnome says, ho, ho, ho. He's got a little candy cane in his hand, and his little beard is just the cutest, and his hat is just so cute. And then there's Christmas lights surrounding him like a wreath. And I'm going to give you a quick glimpse. And then I'll just give you a close-up of just a little bit. Because I don't want to, you know. Okay, this is the pattern. Okay. And look at that hat. Is that not too cute? Okay, so be sure and go check out Santa Gnome. And the link will be below. And it works. It does. It works. And also, if you like her patterns, there. this is by Soda Stitch Designs. And she has a shop on Etsy, which I will also link below. So be sure and check out her cute patterns. And it's Soda Stitch Designs. I'm writing this down so I don't forget it. Okay. All right. Now. Come on. There we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay. All right. Now, we had stopped the other day, or yesterday, um, with 
some tempting tangles and today we're going to start with cottage garden this was last year's series and this was mary and bright the black capped chickadee and winterberry holly i would just say it's a chickadee but is that not gorgeous i love their patterns they have so many beautiful beautiful patterns just so pretty and the colors are so rich and vibrant and i only found them last year so i was really excited when i when i found them and this is the pattern right here that really got me. It's called it Snow Time. And this was their um, their series for last year. Look at that snowman with those cardinals on him and those stars and the little Christmas tree in his scarf. Too, too cute. But this is from Cottage Garden Samplings. So I just loved that one. All right, and then next uh, we have um, Plum Pudding Needle Art, which I had never heard of them. And this one's a Christmas sampler, and it says Peace on Earth, Goodwill Toward Men. And it's Plum Pudding Needle Arts. Isn't that cute? Really, really cute. And for those of you that like monochromatic stitching, this is almost monochromatic. It's only got the two colors. They're the like berry red and the green. Then, <clears throat> oh, we've showed that one. We're not doing that one again. Okay. Okay, now this one is from Puntini Puntini. And this one, by far, I think is the cutest one they've ever done. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And they've got their little pins stuck in the little pillow. Look at that. And it's on the petty point material that looks like snow. That just makes it. That's going to be on my wish list. Isn't that just adorable? Just love it. Mm, goodness gracious. I can hear the add to cart in my head. Like Stephanie and Pam say. Uh, the next one is a curry ibata curry. And I hope I'm saying that right. It's called Shabby Winter Calendar. And I may have shown this one. But it's just so cute. I have to show it again if I have. So if I have, please excuse me. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then at the bottom it says 21 December Winter. So evidently this is the year... 2021 and then they put winter on there to all the cute little things you could do this like an advent calendar stitch or something and i saw somebody doing that one of my viewers um becky she is doing like the cutest advent calendar and she does one little square a day and then she posts it on instagram and it's just so cute i just love it becky it's just too too cute all right and then we have lou Oh, wait, wait. Calico Confectionery has Winter's Rest. And this is good for your dough bowl. It says, Winter, a time of rest, reflection. Isn't that cute? And look how they've got those pine cones in that dough bowl. Ah. There's just not enough time to stitch all the things you want. And this is Calico Confectionery. I like their designs too. They're very, very cute. And then the next one, this is from Luhu Stitches. This is Slanka Lucia. I'm sure I butchered that. And it's a cross stitch pattern. Look at that. Isn't that pretty and so colorful? And she's got the little candlestick wreath on her head. Just really, really cute. Okay. And then... Let's see. Well, that wasn't good. Do, 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 do. Sorry about that. Lost my place. Oh, this one's cute. We got to show this one. Now, this is from Stony Creek, and they have Snowmen of the Month series. And I'm going to show you the February se series, or the February installment. Duh. Okay, it says February, Hugs and Kisses, Warm the heart in midwinter's cold and dark. And they've got two little snow people cuddling. <laughs> too, too precious. All right. 
and technology is abandoning me so I'm going to just like yeah we're done with that okay it's time for the giveaway and uh, today's giveaway is a gold collection dimensions and this was also from a viewer and I really appreciate these now this one has a piece of 18 count Ada in it but you could do this on linen if you're linen stitches and the Ada is very nice 18 count is so pretty to stitch on I like to stitch on 18 count look at all the goodies that come with it and look at the snowman oh sorry about the glare but I don't want to open it isn't that precious? It's a snow friends ornament. And look at the little snowman with all the little forest friends. Too, too beautiful. And it's got all the little hardware you need. Everything you need except maybe the stuffing. And it's even got numbers and instructions for personalizing. Pers personal personalization. I'll say that because I can't talk today. I don't know what my problem is. Okay, and on the back, they put Christmas and the date. And we won't say what date this is. But anyway, so if you like this and you want this, uh, you need to answer the question. Use the word snowman, though. And I want you to answer the question, what kind of Christmas lights do you put up, if you put any up? Now, you can tell me about the inside lights or the outside lights. Now, my inside lights... Um, we don't do this anymore because we have artificial trees with lights on them. But um, when I was a little girl, we had bubble lights on our tree. And I just love those. And to this day, if I see bubble lights, I have to buy them. I even have a little bubble light, night light thing. Because I just like to see the little tube, you know, bubble up and down. It was just so fun. So anyway, just tell me what kind of Christmas lights you have. But use the word snowman. I'm trying to make it hard. So, um, some of you are coming up with some of the cutest things. I, I just, I mean, I just can't believe it. I just love this. And I apologize for this being a short video, but you know, got to make another floss tube for today. I'll see you later, friends. Bye-bye. Happy stitching.